Hello YouTube subscribers, or at least the few of you who actually watch my videos. Um, I'd just like to give a quick tour of the big Macintosh model I've been working on. Uh, it's currently available for download, um, a link in the description, but technically I wouldn't call it complete yet. It's just currently you can, it's actually possible to make some animations with it. Now, th this rig is currently only for Maya, but I did include an object file which you can bring into 3DS Max, but, um, it's just not rigged yet. But anyways, as for this rigged version, a couple things you'll notice is missing is, first of all, there's, um, no control panel, so... So in order to animate the face, you'd have to go into the Blend Shape Animation e Editor, in which you can uh, move around the facial expressions. I also eventually want to revise the textures so that it doesn't look so sloppy, especially on the hooves. Um, another thing I'd also like to update this eye. Now this is something that was basically quickly put together. But anyways, apparently it's got um, inverse kinematics, so that should make it easier to generally easier to animate. I still want to add an IK switch, so you can switch to forward kinematics, which could make certain poses a bit easier. As you can see, you just just move around these yellow controls and you can move them around. I set a couple of custom attributes, for example, for controlling the tail, you can have it coil. Uh, you can also have a move left and right. Similar with the main. And yes, yeah, so use these arrows to just the the uh, the twist of the leg. One more thing I should probably mention is that this is actually a low poly model with a smooth preview turned on. So while you're working on it, you may want to turn that off to make things run more smoothly. And to do that, you just want to come over here into the layers, unlock the geometry layer, maybe lock the controls so you don't actually select them. Then just select the geometry and press one on the on the keyboard. Press three to turn it off, turn it on, and one to turn it back off, and that'll make that'll make it run more smoothly. It is good to turn it like this just while you're animating it. And there you go. So yes, if you're a Maya user, feel free to download this and play around with it. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or critiques, because th this was my first rig, so it's pretty much a learning experience, so yes, tell me what you think.